We got a pretty fun one today. Um, I went down in the pit. It's pretty muddy. We'll see if I actually made it out. Sprayed in the face with dirt. If you guys are looking to support the channel, buy some merch, leave a like, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this one because I'm slowly starting to get used to doing fun vlogs that aren't so boring. Also, if you guys are in the tire industry and are looking for equipment, tools, kind of stuff that I use, links are in the description below. Let's do it. Do you need to drive down to it? Yeah. I don't think. Okay, let me go talk to Bruce. So, the unit that I need to fix is in a pit. So, this should be interesting to see uh, what they uh, figure out. I can get you down to about the excavator. Okay, pick it up. Ground isn't the hardest. I don't want to be sliding off the end all the way down, so going real slow. Nice and slippery. This is probably a really bad idea, but I'll do what you gotta do, you know? So, this is what we're working with. Got the truck there. Got my small hose because I can't reach it with the big one. Attach it to the big one. And we gotta fix this tire right here. Well. Gotta take care, that's good. I really don't know if I'm gonna get out of here, dude. All right, it's time to get out. Here goes nothing. Dun 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 I made it! <laughs> We're back at this pit service call to replace the tire because it was leaking at the casing and also it has massive dry rot on the side that was also leaking. So, all this cracking here is all leaking. So, we have to replace the tire. All right, let's try this Remy stuff on a real tire. So it looks like this valve stem is actually chipped, so I'm gonna replace that before I put it on to make sure it doesn't leak. So there's the new tire, the old tire. I decided to do a short on this one because I like to do shorts and it's hard to set up two tripods when they need the unit as soon as possible. So that's why you guys didn't see me change that one. But if you want to go my short, you can go and uh, see me change it. When we say a tire has been driven flat, this is usually what we mean. You can kind of see that the bead is messed up in there, but the sidewall, I guess they must have gotten a hole there and now there's a bulge and you can see how rubbed the sidewall is. Of course, luckily I always carry a tire this size on board. It's got 50% tread left, but maybe if they didn't drive it, it would have been fine. They actually drove it so fast that it made the rim nice and shiny. Thankfully it didn't eat into the rim too much though. The bead completely gone. Chunks of bead. Big chunks of rubber inside the tire. That was a good one. So we have another one of these dang boom tires that like to leak at the bead. Probably just going to toss some sealant in because it doesn't have it. Oh, I don't know 
know why these do this, but they just suck. I don't, I don't know why. Of course, it's in uh, it's in some nice mud, so I'm going to get a little dirty here. 355, 625, like always, off the bead. This is a typical, uh, typical day for these tires. Going to jack it up. Take the wheel off because you can't really put seal in it on these ones because the bead's so thick you can't get it in without it falling out. You understand, right? Would have been nice if it wasn't in the mud, but that's why I got these big boots. So now we try to air it up and see if there's something on the side wall just in case before we put ceiling in. <laughs> that wasn't fun. There's water inside. <clears throat> I can no longer see. So sadly, there's nothing really I can do about the water. It doesn't look like there's a lot of water. It just looks like it was around the bead because it was kind of sitting in that mud there. And it just flung into my face. So we're just going to put some sealant in. And that should fix it because obviously that's why the bead was leaking. Because a little bit of dirt in there. And it was all over my face. So it looks like the valve stem also wants to leak today. Good thing it's only this part because I can switch it out. 